Hello, Namaskara. I am Professor Hampiyoli, Professor of Mathematics, uh, KLS Gopti Institute of Technology, Bilagami. Uh, we are dealing with uh, Module 4, 5 of uh, 18 Mat 41, that is the fourth semester mathematics. The last uh, three lectures I have dealt with the uh, sampling part of uh, fifth module. And uh, today I will be dealing with a small chapter joint probability distribution. Hope uh, these uh, examples will be useful to you for your uh, whatever internal examinations or final examinations are there. These are my so I am dealing with uh, complex analysis, probability, and statistical methods for semester mathematics. Subject code 18 mat 41. I am interested with the job of uh, fifth module. In the last three lectures, we completed this. Today, a small part of this module 5 is remaining joint probability distribution. You can always connect me to the pro to me via this uh, email or this phone. I'll be very happy to interact with you. Suppose uh, if uh, a random variable x, that is, suppose uh, all of you have you seen this part? Have you seen played snake and ladder? Six faces are there, six different types of uh, dots are there. So whenever I throw this, there are six possibilities. So if at all I write x equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 as samples, sample space. For x equal to 1, there are 1 by 6 possibility. x equal to 2, that is the falling of 2 is the 1 by 6 possibilities. All are 1 by 6, 1 by 6, 1 by 6 possibility. And that creates 1, x equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And uh, next uh, row, all poly probabilities 1 by 6, 1 by 6, 1 by 6, adding to 1. So this creates a random variable. If I take a, a probability distribution, if I take two coins, suppose when I throw them, there are four possibilities because this has got two possibilities, head and tail. This has got two possibilities, head and tail. So by fundamental work principle, two into two, four possibilities. What are those four possibilities? Both head, first head, second tail, or second head, first tail, HT, TH and both are tails so h h h t t h t t so the possibilities are both heads possibility is a 1 by 4 and uh, only one head po only one head possibility is a 2 by 4 and no head possibilities is a 1 by 4 1 by 2 2 by 4 1 by 4 2 by 4 1 by 4 adding up to 1 now i did these two this experiment of throwing two coins and created one distribution or i am throwing this a snake and ladder die if there are two die then we call them as two dice more than one we call two dice three dice separately if i do this if i did now i did this experiment separately i did the throwing of two coins or maybe throwing of three coins this separately now suppose on one hand i throw this and one hand i throw this and try to Combine these two events. I try to join these two events. And what are the possibilities? What are the random sample space created? And uh, what are the different probabilities? That time also the total probability should be one. Whatever the events are there, basic fundamental theory is total probability should be one. Now, whenever I throw suppose only one coin, when I throw only one coin, there are two possibilities. I throw suppose one die, six possibilities. Can you tell me whenever I do these two works together, how many possibilities? This is six times six possibilities, coin two possibilities. These two works are independent. Happening of head and tail will not affect happening of one, two, three, four, five, six here. So six into two, 12 possibilities. Like for if at all h falls here, here there are simultaneously one, two, three, four, five, six. So H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, S6. Similarly, when T falls here, again six possibilities. T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, T6. Twelve possibilities are there. So out of these twelve possibilities, when I throw head, one should occur. That is, out of twelve, only one possibility. 
so 1 by 12 similarly when i throw head 2 should occur that is also 1 by 12 possibilities in all the 12 places 1 by 12 1 by 12 1 by 12 possibilities so now i created joint probability distribution of a coin and a die such type of joint probability distribution we are finding now if the joint probability distribution properties are given whether i can find this probability separately this is called as marginal probability distribution and whether i can find this probability separately that is also called as one more marginal probability distribution or whether when these two separately are given and these two this one and this one these two separately are given and if they are independently working whether i can find combined so you might have seen in your earlier probability distribution classes whenever there is a probability distribution just like statistic distribution you can find mean median or mean standard deviation variance covariance or variance you have find variance is just how what is the variation in one variable when there are more than one variables combined we are talking then covariation whenever there is a uh, combination of more than one co comes coefficient cooperation cooperative society co when it comes there are more than one combined together we are finding so here we see some theory part afterwards when we go to in the journey of these lectures this examples we will understand what is joint probability distribution better of course more than two events also we can go on combining for your portion two random variables we are combining as joint probability distributions so only there are two possibilities in this again two categories either they are independent or dependent so let us see here if x and y are two discrete random variables then probability of x comma y earlier only you used to write probability of x now probability of x comma y or f of x y where f of x y satisfies the condition probability should be always greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 1 and sum of all the probability should be 1 suppose first one is happening m times second one is happening n times just like die is happening 6 times whenever i throw a die it happens 6 times and uh, throwing of one coin happens 2 times total is 6 into 2 12 times here m into n n, n different categories take place so that all those n category probabilities Suppose for ith and jth, first event, ith event, second one, jth event, one more symbol and one more symbol, joint probability, distrib probability distribution of ith and jth possibilities respectively for first one and second one. Then with these symbols, we call this itself is joint PDF of to these two provided this condition is satisfied. This slide tells that define joint probability distribution means you have to write this much from here to here. The same thing we denote like this. Suppose whatever Gij is there, then what are the possibilities? Suppose totally Mn possibilities, x goes from 1 to m, 1 to m, every column 1 to m, y is going from 1 to n. 1 to n second suffix is y first suffix is x so that j i j means x1 y1 j12 means this should happen and this should happen so i am using the word and in whenever i have shown this event of die and coin suppose i want two should happen and i want what should happen here head tail should happen this should happen two should happen and together tail should happen and i am telling so that whenever i am joining two possibilities i am joining by the word and this join is and so now x1 y2 means in x categories x1 should happen in y categories y2 should happen which i call x1 and y2 should happen and that between 0 and 1 some number will be there that will come here like that when i write all these possibilities sum of all these possibilities that is sum of sum of all these see here from here to here 
sum of all these possibilities addition of all jijs should be 1 so now if i add all these first row it gives a probability of happening of x1 if i add second row probability of happening of x2 so this column and first column gives probability of only x this row and the last row gives probability of only y so sum of this column is also one sum of this row is also one and these things we will experience in our examples also so that is what i told if you add the first row j11 j12 up to j1n you will get f of x1 symbolically we write like this f of x1 equal to first row so f of x2 equal to second row like that the last row and similarly when you add the first column sum of all these value is gy1 sum of all these values is gy2 sum of all these values are gy1 yn so that similarly whatever is true for f the same thing we are doing uh, uh, doing for y g of y1 first column g of y2 second column g of yn third column so that these are called as these two are called as marginal distribution functions because sum of all this is one sum of all this is one in your previous uh, probability it was only called as probability distribution function since here in this case we are finding it as margin here also one more margin of f of of x margin of y so one more word to recognize that it is it has come out of joint that's why we are calling it as marginal probability distribution so that one way it is x distribution first and last column one way here is y distribution inside all j's are joint x and y distributions so as i told when we go to these examples it will be more and more clear suppose x and y are two random variables with the following respective distributions that is x has got 1 and 2 as sample space and 0.7 and 0.3 what is the meaning of this suppose there are 10 labels where one is labeled in seven small chits and two has got three small chits there are totally 10 small chits in each chit either one is written or two is written one is written seven times two is written three times so totally 10 out of that seven are one three are two when i take any chit one chit randomly seven by ten that is 0.7 is the possibility of x once again i am taking seven small chits in that uh, 10 small chits in that i am writing only one or two out of that seven are written one 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 and three are written two 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 out of ten okay which i am closing my fingers they are two so when i take any chit if it falls under this category seven by ten is the possibility of one and 3 by 10 is the possibility of 2. So 0 0.7, 0 0.3. Similarly, you can think of one more event writing 3 chits minus 2, 5, 8. Out of 10, 3, 5, 2, 3 by 10, 5 by 10, 2 by 10 are the possibilities. And these two events now we want to combine. Suppose x and y are independent random variables with the following respective probability distributions. Why it is probability distributions? Because there are random variables and these numbers between 0 and 1 adding to 1 this is the sample space 1 and 2 adding to 1 now find the joint probability distribution of x and y so this you concentrate how you find also verify what is meant by if i if only one variable there is variable is there we find variance that is standard deviation square when two variables are there a similar thing we find covariance let us see how do we find it now here i am writing y variables minus 2 5 8 and here i have written corresponding 0 0.3 0 0.5 0 0.2 once again you see y variables minus 2 5 8 0 0.3 0 0.4 5 0 0.2 first and last rows first row y values last row y corresponding probabilities similarly here x1 x2 so this uh, value is not written let me write those two so if i take that values so what was the values of x1 and 2 simply what we have to do here x1 was 1 and x2 was 2 
now for x1 and this first and last column give 1 to 0.7.3 is the possibility of x variables so these two we have written in a different fashion one is written here and here together and one more is written here and here together so once i am again writing for you which is one here and two here now how to find so totally there are three possibilities in y two possibilities in x if i combine two into three this inside part there are six possibilities one two three four five six now comes the easiest part okay that is how to find this value you start with the point three and what is the how it comes this column and this row so point three into point seven point twenty one similarly point three into point three point zero nine with point 0.3, you multiply these two and write in a corresponding place. Similarly, if I come to point 0.5, again multiply with these two and write in a corresponding second column. Point 0.5 into point 0.7, here, 0.35. Point 0.5 point into point 0.3, point 0.15. Again, come here, multiply these two and write here. Here, 2 is there, point 0.14. Here again, point 0.06. Once again, we shall see how we have found these values. See, sum of this is 1, sum of this is 1, and amazing factor we shall see afterwards. Now, how to find these values? First, catch hold of 0.3 and multiply with these two values. 1 is 0 0.3, 0 0.3 into 0 0.7, 0 0.21, 0 0.3 into 0 0.3, 0 0.09. So, over. Second, you come to 0 0.5, multiply with 0.7.9 so multiply with 0.7 and 0.3 with this 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.7 0 0.35 0 0.5 0 0.3 so 0 0.15 similarly last one now when you come to last one with 0 0.2 you multiply these two 7 2 0.14 2 and 3 combination 0 0.06 now if you add all these values that also gives you 1. So, now what we tell? This is known as joint distribution of x and y, where this is j11, j12, j13. Here, second row, j21, j22, j23. Total is 6 values. Summation of all j's is 1. So, how, do you, how did you define the probability distribution? In the first slide, probability of x, y is such a way that sum of all the probabilities is 1 sum of all the probabilities is 1 instead of this instead of this f of x y i can write j i j sum of all j i j is 1 such that each j i j is greater than or equal to 0 so that how to find given independent distributions how to find joint distributions we found now i'll come to the second part that is we are asked to find the covariance of x and y once having found this joint probability distribution. Now find this is the formula to find covariance of xy. That is expectation of xy. The comma is not there. Expectation of x into y minus mu x mu y. How do we find expectation of xy? How do we find expectation of xy? See this comma is not there. So this comma should not be there. It is expectation of xy minus mu x mu y. Now let us recall how we find expectation of x, y. Before that, mu x means what? Mu y means what? Mu x means average mean of this distribution. Mean of this distribution. Mean of this distribution. If you remember, how do you find mean of any probability distribution? x1, p1 plus x2, p2. That is 1 into 0 0.7, 2 into 0 0.3. How much it becomes? 0 0.7 plus 0 0.6, 0 0.13. How do you find these two? y1 g of y1 5 into 0.5 8 into 0 0.2 all you have to add so that is mu x mu y are the expectation of expectation of y mean of first probability mean of second probability that we have found here see 1 into 0 0.7 2 into 0 0.5 8 into 0 0.2 
1 into 2 into 0.3 altogether it is 0 0.6 plus 0 0.7 1.3 similarly expectation of i minus 2 into 0 0.3 5 into 0 0.5 8 into 0 0.2 that is minus 5 into minus 2 into 0 0.3 5 into 0 0.5 8 into 0 0.2 that is minus 0 0.6 0 0.25 0 0.16 that we have found here so two mean we got how do we find expectation of x y that is first time you are doing expectation of x y is first i'll tell you using this table that is if i write again x y values x1 x2 were 1 and 2 x1 was 1 x2 was 2 what you have to do all possibilities of x y 1 into minus 1 into minus 2 into 0 0.21 plus first you finish off with all 1 1 into 5 1 into 8 like that but corresponding probability also you have to multiply three things we are multiplying x y corresponding probability let us start with the first row 1 into minus 2 into 0 0.21 1 into 5 into 0 0.35 1 into 8 into 0 0.14 similarly you finish with 2 2 into all these values 2 into minus 2 into second row 0 0.09 2 into 5 into 0.15 can you tell me the last one to yourself first tell yourself 2 into 8 into 0 0.06 exactly so that we have done that is x into y into corresponding probability is known as expectation of x y x into y into corresponding probability and all values we have found 1 2 3 4 5 6 so these values we have found which is uh, altogether adding 4.55 now when i add these values or uh, 4.55 i got here you substitute in the formula 4.55 minus 1.3 3.5 which we got coincidentally we got zero sometimes we don't get zero let us move on to the second example a joint probability distribution of two discrete random variables x and y is given by fx y equal to k into 2x plus y you might have remember you must be remembering k examples you'll be finding what is the value of k and all that it is very very similar where x has got restriction 0 to 2 that is 0 1 2 y has got restriction 0 to 3 totally here three values including 0 here four values so that means totally 12 values for joint we are going to get here x three values y 0 1 2 so here y has got 0 1 2 3 so totally four values find k find the marginal distributions of x that is P, PDF of X, PDF of Y, then combined PDF. Now, first, when X equal to 0, when I put X equal to 0, Y I can go on putting 0, 1, 2, 3. See here, when I put X equal to 0, X equal to 1, X equal to 2, Y equal to 0 to 3. You can see in the previous slide, X equal to 0 to 2, X equal to 0, 1, 2 y equal to 0 1 2 3 y equal to 0 1 2 3 now afterwards combinations are 0 0 0 1 0 2 0 3 so here you have to substitute what are these values how do you get these values how to get is given a formula so in that formula you have to go on putting suppose if i put x equal to 0 that means in the first row how do you find values first you put x equal to 0 in the formula x equal to 0 in the formula and go on putting y equal to 0 1 2 3 when i put x equal to 0 this becomes 0 and when i put y equal to 0 1 2 3 0 k 1 k 2 k 3 k that has come in the first row 0 k 1 k 2 k 3 k now suppose one more when i put x equal to next value when i put x equal to next value 1 in this formula in this formula x equal to 1 then this this part becomes 2 go on putting all the y values 2 plus 0 2 plus 1 2 plus 2 2 plus 3 that is 2 plus 0 2k it start from 2k 2k 3k 4k 5k 2k 3k 4k 5k 
one more when i put x equal to 2 in the formula x equal to 2 in the formula 2 into 2 4 4 plus y values y values are going from 0 1 to 3 4 plus 0 4 plus 1 4 plus 2 4 plus 3 4 plus 0 means 4 up to 4 plus 3 means 7 so 4 5 6 7 4 5 6 7 similarly we found all so totally there are 3 into 3 there are these values so 0 1 2 0 1 2 3 4 so 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 totally 12 values so when i add all these values i am going to get 42k but sum of the probability should be 1 42k equal to 1 k equal to 1 by 42 we answer the first value now when i write k equal to 1 by 42 1 by 42 1 by 42 1 by 42 I get y distribution. When I get k equal to 1 by 42, 1 by 42, 1 by 42, I get x distribution. For x distribution, you have to write 0, 1, 2, and here writing 1 by 42 and all that. Let us see how do we find x distribution. 0, 1, 2. So 0, 1, 2, and here uh, corresponding values. So x is 0 1 2 corresponding 6 by 42 14 by 42 22 by 42 6 by 42 14 by 42 22 by 42 this should be x so let me correct it here only this is our x distribution this is f of x And this should be according to our previous slide 0 1 2 so that has gone that is x f of x this should be 0 1 and 2 so this should be our y and g of y so which is y has got 0 1 2 3 y has got 0 1 2 3 this is our g of y so now x is 0, 1, 2, corresponding f of x is 6 by 42, 14 by 42, 22 by 42, and corresponding y, g of y is 0, 1, 2, 3, all 6 by 42, 9 by 42, 12 by 42, 15 by 42. This is known as marginal probability distribution of x. This is known as marginal probability distribution of y, where you can find that. So we have answered the second question. That is, just we substituted here. 1 by 42, 1 by 42, 1 by 42 for x values and here we substituted 1 by 42, 1 by 42, 1 by 42 for y values and now we are answering the last question. We answered the first question k value 1 by 42. We answered the second question how to find marginal probability distribution marginal PDF of x separately, y separately. It is either row sum or column sums. Now whether these two are independent or not, how do we check that? That we check like this. If I multiply suppose 6k into 6k 36k this should have been 36k similarly 9k into uh, suppose 6k into 14k okay similarly 15k into 22k whether these two are same no for example if i write 6k into 6k 36k is not there so if it fails for if it is true equal for all multiple if this is this into this equal to this this should happen for all the entries then only it will be independent that is x and y are independent if it fails for one of the 12 possibilities it is failing for many so it is failing here also 6 into 6 36 k we should have 36 k square should have been there but instead of that zero is there that means f of x1 into g of y1 is not equal to f of x1 y1 f of x1 this is x1 f of x1 into g of y1 is not equal to f of x1 comma y1 hence we call that if it fails for one 
f of x i g, g of y in general is not equal to so that they are not independent here it should be not independent please x and y are not thank you not independent now we'll go to the next slide here it is interesting three fair coins are drawn so this is not a three three fair coins coins are tossed uh, or a fair coins is tossed thrice both are same both you can take the same a fair coin is one coin is tossed three times is equivalent to three coins are tossed only once both will get the similar distribution a fair coin is tossed thrice first time second time third time once i am telling first time you toss second time you toss third time you toss a coin you toss every time when you toss head and tail two possibilities second time you toss head and tail two possibilities first time two possibilities second time two possibilities third time two possibilities totally two into two into two eight possibilities because whenever you do any works independently so total work can be done into first time two into two into two if you are doing this in five six seven ways five into six into seven ways i have told so that totally eight possibilities a fair coin is tossed thrice the random variable x and y are defined as follows so x equal to 0 or 1 according as head or tail occurs first toss so whenever i throw a coin three times once twice thrice head may occur first time head may not occur first time if head occurs first time okay we call it as a zero if head doesn't occur first time we call it as one second one is when i throw so first variable is first time out of three possibilities first toss is head or not so if head is there zero if head is not there one for example here head is there zero head is there zero here head is not there one head is not there one so out of eight possibilities out of eight possibilities why i told eight possibilities first coin first time two possibilities second throw two possibilities third throw two possibilities as if first coin two possibilities second coin two possibilities third coin three possibilities like that also you can think totally two into two into two eight possibilities these are the eight possibilities okay so then that is no tail all tail only one head these are the possibilities one head one head one head two head possibilities means one tail one tail one tail possibilities so now out of these how many number of heads are there either zero heads or in these three there are only one head in these three there are two heads in these three there are three heads so total number of heads zero one two three that is y variable y is the number of heads so totally y is zero heads all one heads all two heads and three heads once again y is here no heads are there zero y has got zero value so in these three out of one two three four five six seven eight possibilities in these three together only one head is there so in these three together two heads are there in these together three heads are there now what are the questions determine the distributions of x and distribution of y determine the joint probability distribution also now the sample space is this s is the sample space all no head only one head two heads and three heads x values in every case x has got either zero or one head first time zero head first time zero head first time zero head first time zero in remaining where one 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 is written head not first time and y is number of heads number of heads number of heads number of heads now how do we answer this we shall see now what is probability of x equal to zero out that is what is the probability that head is occurring first time 
out of eight possibilities head is occurring one here first time sec two possibilities three possibilities and four possibilities four by eight means one by two possibility for x equal to zero means head is occurring first time naturally four by eight head is not occurring first time so head is occurring first time four by eight means one by two head is not occurring first time four by eight means one by two once again i'm telling how do you find marginal distribution of x totally x has got only zero one value first you write that x equal to zero one so now what is the possibility of head occurring first time out of eight four times head not occurring first time out of eight four times one by two one by two similarly you come to the second y distributions number of heads zero one by eight possibility number of heads one so this all together so three by eight possibility one head one head one head out of eight these three together is a variable case is three by eight so number of heads two three by eight number of heads three there is only one possibility again for last one by eight that we write like this zero heads one by eight all heads one by eight one head three by eight two heads three by eight so these are independent distributions of x and y because when you add this one by two plus one by two one when you add this 1 plus 3, 1 plus 3, 4, 4 plus 3, 7, 7 plus 1, 8, 8 by 8 also 1. So that we write like this. 1, 2, that is a 0 and 1, this should be there. X is 0 and X is 1. So X equal to 0 is 1 by 2, X equal to 1 is 1 by 2. First time head, first time not head. So 4 by 8, 4 by 8 possibilities. Here 0, 1, 2, 3 is number of heads. So number of heads 0 times heads is all tail possibilities 1 by 8. All head possibilities 1 by 8. Only one head 3 by 8. Two heads 3 by 8. So this is probability distribution of x, probability distribution of y. Now how do you combine them? If I combine, if I want to combine them, x has got 0, 1 possibilities, y has got 0, 1, 2, 3 possibilities. So first column last column gives the x possibilities 0 1 1 by 2 1 by 2 first row or last row gives y probability distribution 0 1 2 3 all this so two possibilities here four possibilities here totally joint has got 2 into 4 eight possibilities how do we get these values start with 1 by 8 okay so now they are not given whether they are independent or not if they are given independent then directly this into this together you will get this value but here they are not given independent that time how do you do it if they are not given independent directly using the experiment only you have to do it now what is the meaning of first time head should be there first time head should be there and and number of head should be zero is it possible see let us see it here first time head is there 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 so number of possibilities number of head should be zero not possible already one one head has occurred first time head should occur and number of heads also should be zero means impossible event probability is zero that i have written now first time head should be there and total number of heads should be one this x column means first time head should be there this implies total number of head should be 1. This and this common should happen. This should happen and this should happen. This is what first time head should be there. And this is what only one head should be there. Let us see here. First time head should be there. Only one head. So this is not that. First time head, only one head. This is not that. First time head, only one head. This is not that. So here first time head is not there. So first time head and only one head so remaining here not possible not for first time not head first time not head out of eight first time head and only one head one by eight so that is written here as one by eight let us see now first time head and totally there can be two heads let us see how it is first time head and totally two heads can be there here first time head two heads are there first time head totally two heads are there here first time head but 
not two heads are there the more number of heads are there first time not head first time head but two heads are not there so first time not head first time not head first time not head so that first time head and two two heads totally once again first time head and two heads so totally 2 by 8 means 1 by 4 possibility so like that all the values are filled up 2 by 4 8 means 1 by 4 possibilities so let us come to this one suppose 1 by 8 how this comes 1 by 8 what is the meaning of this first time head should not be there one means means first time tail should be there and number of head should be one number of heads should be two first t and number of heads should be two so let us see first time t first time t number of heads should be two so one possibility first time t and number of heads should be no other possibility first time t first time t is not there first time t is not there first time t is not there here first time t is there but number of heads are not two number of heads are not two number of heads are not two so it is one by eight let us see what we have written so that first time t and totally two heads two heads should be there then one by eight the so last one why it is zero first time head should not be there first time head should not be there means all should be t first time head should not be there and all should be head so that first time head should not be there that makes sense all should be head means when all are head first time also will be head no so this possibility is first time head should not be there is not possible that's why it is zero think once again so now independently we found you not using these values because x and y are independent is not given now when i multiply 1 by 8 into 1 by 2 it is not zero that's why they are not independent so that's why we have found answers first of all we found this sample distribution first what are the x values what are the y values and independently we found what is x distribution what is y distribution that we wrote here and afterwards we wrote here but since uh, x and y are not even independent these values are found experimental definition we took and found we answered all the three questions that is determine the distribution of x and y then determine the distribu joint distribution of x and y with this we will go to the next question the joint distribution of two random variables x and y is given already now reverse joint is given you have to find independent marginal distributions earlier marginal were given you are finding joint now compute joint first expectation of x expectation of y means first you have to find pdf of x pdf of y corresponding expectation of x expectation of y then expectation of xy using this then standard deviations of x standard deviation of y and afterwards covariance of xy rank of xy these five we are finding this type of examples are quite important for your examination point of view here we go x distributions okay the distribution is obtained by adding the here they should be independent variables then only it is found so now i take one and five how do you find one by two one by two here 1 and 5. When I add all this here, 1 by 8 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8, addition of all this, I will get 1 by 2. Addition of all this also, I am getting 1 by 2. That means probability of x equal to 1, 1 by 2, probability of x equal to 5 is also 1 by 2. So 1, 1 by 2, 5, 1 by 2. Now here, similarly, for y, I have to take column addition. See, for example, 1 by 8 plus 1 by 4. This can become 2 by 8. 2 by 8 plus 1 by 8, 3 by 8. So, first for minus 4, I should write 3 by 8. Similarly, when I add these two, also I will get 3 by 8. When I add these two, I will get 2 by 8. 3 by 8, 2 by 8. When I write 3 by 8, 2 by 8. So when I add all of these 3 plus 3, 6. 6 plus 2, 8. That is, when I make it 2 by 8, it becomes 2. 2 plus 3 plus 3, 8 by 8. Sum of this is also 1. Sum of this is also 1. That's why PDF of X is this. PDF of Y is this. Once you find PDF, finding mean of this expectation of X is very simple. 1 into half, 5 into half. So, 1 into half, 5 into half is 1 by 2, 5 by 2, 6 by 2. 3 becomes expectation of X. Let's see how do you find. 1 into half, 5 into half. 
so 1 by 2 plus 5 by 2 6 by 2 3 so expectation of x denoted by mu x is found similarly how do you find mean of this expectation of x or mu y multiply these two multiply these two multiply these two minus 4 into 3 by 8 2 into 3 by 8 7 into 1 by 4 that we have done here minus 4 into 3 by 8 2 into 3 by 8 7 into 1 by 4 it has become 1 mu x mu y are found next what we do expectation of xy that in one of the examples we did but then also how do you find expectation of xy x into y corresponding probability so first row if i complete i have to take one only one into this one into this one into this and corresponding probability of first row one minus four one by eight first possibility one minus four one by eight so similarly if i complete with one 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 and one so three possibilities will be over what are this one minus four one two one seven so one minus four one two one seven what are the corresponding probabilities we have to multiply one by eight one by four one by eight corresponding probabilities we multiplied one by eight one by four one by eight three quantities we multiply what are those to find expectation of xy x into y into corresponding xy probability 1 into minus 4 into 1 by 8 similarly for second row to complete 5 into minus 4 5 into 2 5 into 7 and corresponding probabilities so second one also 5 into minus 4 5 into 2 5 into 7 corresponding probabilities but if you, if you add all these you will get a real number 3 by 2 that becomes expectation of 3 by 2. Now we shall go for expectation of x square. If it is x square you have to square this. If it is x cube you have to x cube it. If it is sin x you have to write sin x here and corresponding probabilities. x square means these values x values 1 square into 1 by 2 5 square into 1 by 2 1 into 1 by 2 25 into 1 by 2 that is 1 into 1 by 2 25 into 1 by 2 13 similarly sigma y square is uh, i mean sorry expectation of y square is y square into corresponding probabilities that is sorry that is y square into corresponding probabilities means what is y value 427 in square root negative sign goes 16 4 and 49 and corresponding probabilities 16 into 3 by 8 4 into 3 by 8 49 into 1 by 4. Uh, 1 by uh, sorry 49 into 1 by 4 in examination usually mistake is made this also they square probabilities are never squared only x values are either squared cube whatever you get so 16 4 49 and corresponding probabilities how it is written see 16 4 49 and corresponding probabilities when you add we will get a real number so now what is the value of sigma x square standard deviation of x which is summation expectation of x square minus mu x whole square expectation of x is 13 mu x in the previous case we found which was 3 that is 3 square so that 13 minus 3 square 13 minus 9 4 similarly sigma y square is 79 by 4 minus 1 square so we'll get some value so sigma y square root of that 4.33 so what all we found we found corresponding probability distributions we found corresponding mu x mu y's we found expectation of xy, we found expectation of x square y square corresponding standard deviations. Then now we are finding the last one. Again, sorry, here the mistake is comma should not be there. Expectation of xy should be there. Covariance of xy is expectation of xy minus mu x mu y. Expectation of xy is 3 by 2 found, which is here. Expectation of xy is 3 by 2 found. 3 by 2 minus 3 into 1, which is minus 3 by 2 covariance can be negative positive similarly rank of the xy is covariance divided by corresponding standard deviations minus 3 by 2 sigma x sigma y in the previous uh, here minus 3 by 2 is there sigma x sigma y in the previous slide you have found which is uh, sigma x is 2 sigma y is 4.33 2 into 4.33 you get this one now dear students what all we did here in this uh, joint probability distributions given two different events how to combine those two events just like how to combine the event of coin and 
die you can combine these two and together you can find a prob probability distribution separately finding is sample space 1 2 3 4 5 6 corresponding probability is 1 by 6 1 by 1 by 6 1 by 6 separately finding is head and tail 1 by 2 1 by 2 combine there are 12 possibilities 12 probabilities adding to 1 if this is given this is given separately combine we can find if combine is given we can find separately these two so as probability distribution has got mean standard deviations joint also has got mean standard deviations covariance so what all we find is given separate distributions x y how to combine given combined distribution how to find separate distributions and correspondingly how to find mu x mu y expectation of x square expectation of y square expectation of x y covariance of x y separately so please go through these examples once again you can go through some books and find and try to find the answers to those so really i should be now i am ending all these four lectures really i am very very thankful to e shikshan with you all the authorities of with all the authorities of e shikshan and all the authorities of our college and uh, thank you to you all friends for having connected to me i am really very much blessed to do all these things hope these slides will be these four lectures will be useful to you make use of it be safe till then see you bye